listening to me. <laughs> um, let's have a little bit, a little bit happier one. Date. Actually, not happy. <coughs> if I go home with you, it will be too late to say no. I don't want to. I don't like your mouth. It's wet and smells of smoky bacon flavoured snacks, which you did not share. I don't like your shirt or your shoes. I don't like your views on, well, anything so far. Shall we have another drink? A large one? I'll get them. Again. <laughs> one, I suppose, called um, Feather. She dreams there are feathers on the bed after he's left, warmed with love, white feathers of all sizes catching in the air, her hair between her toes, tickling like kisses, tumbling downy off the edges, dancing across the drafty floorboards. They follow him up the street as he walks away, a subtle trail, snagged on suburban privet on grassy borders, sucked under and out the other side of passing cars, snatched up by darting birds with nests to line. She wakes alone, smooths her arm across the sheets, the ghost of his smell, breathes in the loss of him. At home he plucks a feather from his beard, small and curled like a question mark, asking where he's been. Mm.